Hi everyone, this is Yuri from DataRobot. Today I'm going to talk about the improved Visual AI Autopilot in DataRobot 6.3. In the new release, Visual AI Autopilot makes a wider variety of modeling decisions based on data, leading to even more diverse models on the leaderboard and improved accuracy as a result. This makes DataRobot capable of handling even more complex use cases than before. So let's give it a bit of a challenge. A few years ago, these pictures of animals looking like objects went viral on the internet. The AI community was quick to notice them as well and named them the Deep Learning Training Dataset because robustness to adversarial examples remains an active topic of research in computer vision. Now, we could build binary classification projects for each of those image sets, but let's level up the challenge and ask DataRobot to distinguish all 18 classes at once. That way, DataRobot doesn't only have to learn how to distinguish animals from objects, but also how to tell different animals apart, like dog breeds. As usual with Visual AI, our input dataset can be as simple as image files grouped into folders. In this case, we've extracted individual tiles from the original images and put them in the corresponding class folders. Now, let's create a zip archive and upload it to DataRobot. So our target is class, and we're going to build a multi-class classification project. As we can see, DataRobot has recognized all of our 18 classes properly, and the project setup looks exactly like we expected. It took DataRobot Cloud less than 10 minutes to run the autopilot and prepare the best model for deployment. With the new Visual AI Smart Autopilot, DataRobot chose to run different model architectures compared to previous releases. In this project, it chose to run a mobile NAT v3 network by default. Then it took the best model and automatically retrained it on a heavier architecture, efficient NAT v0, for higher accuracy. And in fact, this approach proved to be beneficial and increased the predictive performance even further. If we switch to the accuracy metric, we can see that our top blueprint is well in the high 90s. And the confusion matrix on the validation set tells us that the model actually made only one mistake. Apparently, it confused a plantain with a duckling. So let's check out the activation maps. If we filter it by the predicted class, we'll find that exact image where the prediction wasn't quite right. So it looks like adversarial examples weren't really an issue for DataRobot in this project, and the new autopilot has achieved near-perfect results. Thank you for watching.